Are credit scores really important? But why do you need a credit score in the first place? Would you like to work as a nurse here in the UK? Are you registered for the new NMC Ozki exam but don't know where to start? The new NMC Ozki features 10 stations, including the four APIE stations, plus two pairs of skills, plus two brand new stations testing your values, behaviours and knowledge of evidence-based practice. Nurses, we can't wait to be there by your side as you prepare for the brand new NMC Ozki. You know what to do? Take the first step. Call 0203 637 6722. That's 0203 637 6722 today. Hi, Manon George here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's episode, it's part of a special series of videos which help us Filipino nurses here in the UK to tackle about financial awareness. And to help us is uh, Angela. Angela is one of the co-founders of um, Nova Money, the AI financial planner app that helps you to reach your goals. Mama knows best that you are a I've gone through a love-hate relationship with credit cards. In the Philippines, I have been denied a credit card three times because my nursing salary could never reach their minimum salary requirement of 15,000 pesos. Mexico, all I'm saying. Kahit gano kadaming overtime ang gawin ko, hindi talaga siya umabot ever. Tapos, nung lumipat na ako sa UK, I had better salary and I was saving money. In less than a year, I was finally approved for my first ever credit card. Ngayon, ako ay isa ng ganap na adult. Tapos, yung first year ko with my credit card was actually 0% interest. So, what did I do? Well, I made the most out of that 0% interest because it was free money. Spend $900. When my 0% interest finished, BAM! 26% APR and £24 annual fee. That really took a hit on my saving capacity. But, there is also an invisible cost to using credit cards. And this one is way more dangerous because it took me years to even see it. Having a credit card gave me the illusion of power to get anything I wanted. When you feel like you have such power, you're going to use it and that's exactly what I did. I'll have my secretary get back to you on that one. Without even realizing it, I created the habit of looking for stuff to buy. It's like having a free chocolate cake on your desk na nakatitig lang sa'yo. How long before you eat it? And the next day, another chocolate cake will appear. And after one month of eating free chocolate cake, you receive a letter from the imaginary baker saying, Congratulations! You're a great chocolate cake eater. We're now going to increase the size of your cake. Hala! Patay na. Now you're trapped because you can't imagine your life without your daily tasty fluffy piece of cake. So you will find an excuse to ignore the impact on your health and well-being. Most people start to use credit cards kahit na bata pa and even at a stage in their life where they don't really need it because they were told to build credit. But why do you need a credit score in the first place? The short answer is to borrow more money. And why would you need to borrow more money? Well, you need it if you took the habit of eating your daily chocolate cake and can't go back to eating healthy snacks. I've always believed that I had to use credit cards to build my credit score and that's how I justified its use. The truth is, the United States is the only place in the world where you really need a credit score. In the UK, you only need the credit score to borrow more money. There is really no such thing as a unique credit score, and none of these scores are assessing how much you're saving. Their purpose is only to see if you're going to be a good chocolate cake eater. That's why you shouldn't put too much importance on a credit score. Not only are they subjective, but they're also not telling how good you are at managing your money. 
A better indicator would be to look at which percentage of your income you manage to save and invest because this is how you're going to build financial freedom. That being said, a credit card might be required by some car rental agencies or hotels so it's useful to have one just in case. There are also scenarios where it's preferable to have a credit score such as getting a car loan or a mortgage. And here you can defeat the banks at their own game by making just one transaction per month on your credit card to build at least 6 months of history. And whenever you make a transaction, you make sure you pay it off in full. A high credit score won't necessarily give you access to a mortgage. Come again? You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. I repeat, hindi porket mataas ang credit score mo ay ma-approve ka na sa mortgage or mabibigyan ka ng better interest. When you want to buy a house, lenders will look at three things. One, have you saved for the deposit? Two, do you have sufficient income to pay for the monthly mortgage? And three, do you have a low debt-to-income ratio? The debt-to-income ratio is the sum of all your debt divided by your monthly income. If you don't know your ratio, you can check it out for free with Nova by connecting all of your cards and accounts. Go to your profile screen and then check the debt bar. The lower the percentage, the better. Banks want us to obsess over credit scores, when what we should be building is how much money we have left at the end of the month. You're better off increasing your income or your savings than stressing about this credit score. These are the things you need to focus on and no amount of gimmick will help you out. Only having the right habits will make you successful. Nova can help you build those right habits and makes managing your finances as easy as it can be. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Always remember, Manong knows. Manong knows best, put your worries to rest when staying in the United Kingdom. Manong knows best.